Yes. Let's get on to the main matter where we are talking about the uh, last eight of the uh, World Cup um, clubs. And uh, he will take us the through teams. one after the other. The teams, uh, national teams, the I should story. say. Okay, Morocco became the fourth African country to reach the quarterfinal. So Morocco are playing who? Tell us about it. They are playing Portugal. Oh, the old good old Portugal. Yeah, they are playing Portugal. The Ghana Black Stars Portugal. Yeah, that, that's what's So what's going to happen? So we, we're going to preview them. So we're going to take a look at what's happening. But, but I think we need to talk about the Moroccans. Yes. They, they deserve commendation. Mm -hmm. And this is just a fluke. Mm -hmm. It was a well orchestrated, properly planned. I saw their game against Spain and yeah. they were very confident. Even though they were playing defensive, they were very confident. When they took the ball on, they could have really won that game. Yeah. They really could have won Since that game. August when their coach took over, mm -hmm. they've considered only a goal. August? Since August. Four months ago. Yes. Have they played a lot of games? Yes. They played some couple of friendly matches mm -hmm. and the World Cup games. Mm -hmm. And the World Cup, did they top their group? They top their group, seven points. Oh, I see. They became... They won two and drew one. Yeah, yeah. They, they drew against Croatia, goalless, mm -hmm. in the first game. They won two nil against Belgium. Belgium of all places. Yes, and they won two one against Canada. And even the goal they scored was the goal they conceded was an own goal. So they scored it for for the opponents. The Canada one. Yeah, the Canada one. Naif Agued, that number five JC who plays it trade with West Ham. West Ham. Mm -hmm. He scored. He's, he scored the own goal for the I Canadians. See. So so they are difficult to penetrate. Very 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 difficult. Could we be looking at an African semi final if they if they put their act Morocco together against Portugal? Morocco have the chance to do it. Mm. They have the chance to do it. And they need commendation. They do, they do. They've done a yeoman's job. This one, all this. I saw them against, I mean, they beat Spain mm. on penalties, nonetheless. Yeah. And they beat Belgium, yeah. which has a very good individual team. Yeah. We don't know about the team, but the individual players in Belgium are fantastic. Yeah, the golden generation. Of Belgium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and they beat them 2 0. 2 0. And that was a revenge of what happened in 1994. They met Belgium in 1994 at USA, mm -hmm. and they lost 1 0. Mm -hmm. So this time around, they revenged against Belgium. I see. Mm. No, I saw the team. They are good. So, what's your prediction? You think they can play Portugal? It's a very difficult game. Very, Is Portugal very stronger than Spain? From what I saw, yeah, Portugal, Spain passed the ball better. No, Spain, Spain usually used to circulate the ball. Mm -hmm. But they are not more purposeful as compared to the Portuguese team. Well, the Portuguese have dangerous players. Yes, this. And even player-wise, quality, the Spanish, the, the, Spanish team, the Spanish team, I think, the Portugal team are, are above them. On quality? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, the Spanish, the, the team, is Spanish young. team is, is, is too young. young. So it's young Barcelona it's a team and of a Roma. young generation that they, they can build upon. Okay, so Portugal have Cristiano it. Ronaldo, who I think they can manage. Portugal, uh, Morocco can manage. Yeah, but they have a. Uh, Bernardo Silva has been quite, 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 quite well. This Bernardo Silva is But good. to me, I think within the Portuguese side, Bruno Fernandes has. And been that's what I was coming to. Bruno Fernandes is the revelation of yes, the team. Yes, he has been His a very passing good. ability most, is amazing. Most of the times, people criticize him on the national team. That he, that he gives that more to Manchester United. Yes, he gives more to Manchester more than the Portuguese. But this time he showed up. He's, he's doing a marvelous mm -hmm. job. The Moroccan situation, Paul, it's not a fluke. They had this, the, the, the current FA president, Royal Moroccan Football Federation president. Mm -hmm. His name is Fauzi Legjar. Mm -hmm. He owns a club called RS Bekani. Mm -hmm. And he's also the, fi the, the head of finance on the executive committee of CAF. Oh, I see. He's also ministry at the state, ministry of finance, ministry of state at the finance. In Morocco. He works at the Ministry of Finance in Morocco. Ministry of State. He's finance. a Minister of State at the Ministry of Finance, finance in, Morocco, in Morocco. In the government. In the government. And he's also the FA president. president. Then he's also what? CAF Finance Committee. person. Yes. He sits on the, he's chairs the CAF Finance Committee. CAF, yeah, CAF, CAF, when it comes to the Finance Committee, he's the head. Is he a chartered accountant? Or? I don't know. I don't but know. But he's the president of the FA. He's the president. What did he do? Why are you attributing in to him In 2014, so he became the FA president of Morocco. Mm -hmm. And he said they need to raise up Moroccan football because Moroccan football has died out. They started churning out very good performance from club football mm -hmm. between 2017 up to date. Any of the CAF inter club competition will see at least one Moroccan side in the finals. Grand final. Yes. So you are talking far of Morocco. Yes. In two thousand. Let me tell you. Yes, yes. Yes. Between 2017 up to this year, 2022. Mm -hmm. Every final. They Every are there. final will at least see one Moroccan club. Either the, the, the Confederation. Cup winners, Confederation or, or the Champions, Champions League. League. In the grand final. Yes. Let me give you my proof. I see. In 2017, mm -hmm. WAC won the CAF Champions League. Yes, I remember By beating that. Elali. Yes, they beat Elali. In Good 2018, year. Raja won the CAF Confederation Cup by beating AS Vita. Mm -hmm. In 2019, two clubs from Morocco were in the finals, but unfortunately, both of them lost. Mm -hmm. RS Bekane lost to Zamalek in the Confederation Cup. 
and then work lost to Esperance in the Champions League. Mm -hmm. In 2020, 2020, RSB Kane won the Confederations Cup. Mm -hmm. In 2021, which was last year, Raja won the CAF Confederations Cup. And this year, 2022, all the two inter-club competitions are in the hands of the Moroccan clubs. I see. RS Bekani are the champions of so, the but competition. So, is, 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 is Bekani and Wak and Widad populating the national team? Or is no, players not from as West such. Ham? No, not, not as such. I'm, I'm coming. Apart from that, this, under this same FA president, they've qualified to two World Cup tournaments. Because since 1990, they've never been at World Cup till 2018. And it happened under the presidency of this man that I'm talking about. I see. And they are there now. In, if you take a look at what is happening within the Champ tournament, the locally based competition, mm -hmm. 2018 edition when they hosted, they won. And the last edition and Cameroon also, they won. Mm -hmm. When it comes to women's football, the Women's Calf Champions League, they started playing it last year. This year, it was won by a Moroccan side. I see. Their women played in the Calf Af African Women's So it's a systematic build-up of Moroccan football. So this one is so not a fluke. So what we are saying is not a fluke. It's I, not get, a fluke. I get your point. It's a systematic build-up. Yes. They, they have about 65 million euros project that they did. An edifice, or you can say an academy system, that can house Moroccan players, both national team from the senior national team and the 23 and the 70 and the likes. So that's where all the national teams yes, come. Systematic investment that they made. But we should have that. How yes. is a, a Pram Pram place? The, the uh, GFA place in Pram Pram. You know, the investment... Sikaman or the, something the, like the, that. The, uh, yeah, Pram Pram, yeah. yeah. Yes. Mm. It's not the happening. Inve the investment no, no, made is not, is, not, is not as such. I mean, take because a we have a lot of talent. We, sh we, we should, need one of that in we every should, region. We should have and been, we can produce Pram -Pram players. Pram should have been a standard place of which even if Black Star players come, we, we need not to be taking them to hotels and the likes. They can okay. be housed. Yeah, yeah at, the, at the place, other, at the camp. Other, yes, other countries are doing so. So we have a national camp that yes. keeps the Black Stars. Not only Black Stars under 70. Right, everybody we can do there. it as a project. Black Stars will be here under 23. And even with the women's national team, we can be doing it. It saves us money in the long yes. term. Yes, so the Moroccan story is not, it's, 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 I think. Okay, so let me come to the prediction before we move to the next. Or oh, you have something else yeah, to yeah, say? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and this, th these are the things, you know, mm -hmm. you've seen all these African countries that have been at the quarterfinals. Mm -hmm. And the significant thing of the Moroccans is that, take a look at this. This coach became the first coach, mm -hmm. Valerie Nepomiachi, in 1992, Cameroon to the quarterfinals. Yes. Bruno Mechu, the late, did mm -hmm. it with Senegal. Mm -hmm. And then Milovan Rajevac did it with Ghana. But the significance of that Moroccan one is they did it with a local coach. Getting to the quarterfinal, yes. Getting to the quarterfinal. Yeah. So this is an African. Yeah. Walid Regragi. Regragi. He was coaching work of Morocco just around some six months back. Oh, he was coach of work. He, he took work to, to defeat Nadia Lali in this year's Cup Champions League final. I see. And they, they had the confidence... To make him the national team it. coach. The, the former coach, Vaid Haliozic, was having a tussle with two players. Nusair Mazrawi and then Hakim Ziyech. Mm -hmm. So they thought that these are their two key players, that they would need them in the World Cup. Mm -hmm. So they need to sacrifice either those two players or the coach. So the coach was sacrificed for Walid to come on board. And then here is the situation. Walid has took them to the quarterfinals. Do you think they have a chance of beating Portugal? It's a tall, fall, it's a tall order. But let's see what happens. It's a tall order. But you will put Portugal as a bookmaker's favorite. I think the, the Portuguese are favorites. Are favorites to for go me, through? For, for me, in that score, okay. I think the Portuguese are favorites. So that was the Moroccan conversation and a very interesting conversation about Morocco. And uh, our uh, testimony is that what, ha what Morocco has done is not a fluke. It is something that is a deliberate action that has been taken to take Morocco to where they are right now in the World Cup. Let's move on to the next quarterfinal game. Mm -hmm.